Okay, I just finished making these adapters to adapt the factory hydraulic lines that went to the oil cooler to lines that came off the uh, the real mower, the 3215A. And the factory uses uh, national pipe thread, uh, quarter NPT, while the real mower used uh, these O-ring face seal fittings. We got a dash 8 and then this huge dash 12 fitting here and I drilled them, tapped them, sealed them up. So what I'm gonna do, there's one of the lines here, another one there. You can see uh, the two factory lines down there. Of course, the factory oil cooler was right here. The new oil cooler is going out here. So I think these are actually gonna work out to be just about right. So I will thread these on and attach to the the uh, extension lines and then attach them to the factory lines and then um, it'll be time to put the motor back in hook everything up I went ahead and changed the transmission fluid off camera and I've got it filled up uh, as much as I can get it now until I can fire this thing up and run it and I'm sure there'll have to be quite a bit more put in to fill the oil cooler I'll top it off yeah and hopefully there's no leaks so Go ahead and get that attached. Okay, I just got the motor set in. I went ahead and bolted down the motor mounts here. I had to get a little creative with um, some of the bolts, get some larger bolts. and Put them upside down, it's easier to get to underneath with these uh, brackets that I made. So the motor's in good, I think it's right where I want it now. Now what I've gotta do is get the PTO sheave bolted on to that adapter. So I took it over to the milling machine and milled through it and milled a little flat on top for the bolt head and a nut. So I'm gonna set it on there, get the belts lined up right, and then I'll drill through and go ahead and bolt it to that.
finally getting there. It's coming back together. Can't believe it. Got the radiator in, oil cooler in. I've got the PTO pulley mounted, bolted on. I had a little clearancing issues there at first. I managed to get the radiator up enough that I get it to fit. I got the hydraulic lines adapted and hooked up to the oil cooler. I went ahead and put the coolant hoses, radiator hoses back on. I'll have to figure out what to do here with the air filter, but I'm not too worried about that at the moment. So all this, the complete drive line is ready to go. Now uh, I'm gonna have to pull the wiring harness off the reel mower and figure out what all I have to do to it. It's There's a whole lot of extra stuff on there that I won't need for this. And it's even got a, it's got a control module on it, stuff like that, so I'll have to figure out if I can bypass certain functions and uh, it, without hacking it up too bad. But once I can get the wiring done, this thing will be ready for a test run. Can't believe it. You can see here, I've got about the right clearance for the radiator fan. It's in there pretty good. Got the belts. Drive shafts adapted. We've got hydraulic oil in the transmission. I'm gonna take this exhaust off eventually and probably put a straight pipe on it, but for now I'm just trying to get it get it together. This brake lever here is seized up for the rear left uh, drum brake. I'll get to that once I make sure that the whole thing is running right. Springs are broke. I got a new return spring put on back here, so that pedal does return. Anyway, on to the electricals. You already shut it off. Got it out of here, right? Yep. Shut it off, just back it all the way off on the throttle. Right? Should, yeah. All right. I'll turn the key off too. There's quite a bit more work I had to do this thing to get it. Uh, well, I think I've got the wiring all figured out now. Um, also, it was knocking pretty bad. It wasn't the motor, it was the drive shaft down here that I made since I shortened it. You can't really see underneath this rat's nest, but um, part of the front U joint was just barely rubbing on um, this bracket here that supports the steering gear box. So I managed to get in there and clearance that. And also, when you turn the steering wheel, there was a bolt that comes through with the nut on the end of it to hold part of the linkage together. And that was rubbing, and I managed to chuck it up in the lathe and thinned it out. And it seems to be all right. So I had to do a little more work on the wiring. I had a couple uh, issues with, one, I had a bad relay. It was hanging up, and it was causing the uh, pull-in coil to stay energized, which is not good, and it was overheating. And I had to redo a couple things and add in this diode pack here so that way I um, have reverse current current flow back flowing through and trying to run the starter when it's hooked up when it's not on. So anyway, I think all this is lined out. We'll go ahead and see if we can run it now and we'll listen to it with hopefully out any knocks and electrical problems.
up front to mount the battery to. And I've got to put the rear fenders on, put these tires around, silicone this all up. I'll get some footage of that and it'll be time for a test drive.